Oh. <laughs> to me, it's nothing like a sight of classic touring cars. Oh, oh all bumping and boring. You want to go side by side down to this corner, it's very, very, very treacherous. Oh my word. Tire squeals most of the time. Ooh, up and under work there very nicely. Come on, power, power. Get me out of the corner. It's probably because I was in second gear and maybe I should have been in first. What the, he's just powering away from me. And it's gone wide. Oh, that guy behind me spun. Oh dear. Should have changed up there, that was a mistake. Alright, how much further can we get? How much further through the field can we go? And people that have just tuned in, I'm sorry if you hear any whistles in the background. That's my parrots being very noisy. Oh, that was nice. Oh, just let me go. Alright, seventh. This is the battle for the third place. Not far up ahead there. Anything with a car like this, you've got to keep them, keep the momentum up, especially when these cars have turbos. Oh, that's the fast lap of the race. I'm surprised. Ooh. Sorry for spooking you, mate. Oh, that's a nasty lockup. Nice bit of power won't fix. You know what, that corner, I, I don't know why they changed it. How it was before, it was just a classic old school salt corner. Oh, he's off. He's off, he's gone for an early shower. And I could, could 
completely misjudged a corner, turned it way too early and cut it. Oh my word. That was terrible. Oh, spin. I think so that I think that goes in the lead. Oh yeah. Eastport line is straight lining as much of the track as possible, as much as you can get away with, you know. You know, I just realised I should have picked uh, Roberto, um, Roberto um, uh, Ravaglia's car. Well, I'm sure it was there as a selection, I just didn't see it. I'm such a nerd for classic touring cars and all that stuff. I'm sure you'd approve of that, Alessandro. Oh, oh dear. He's drove himself off the road. Uh. Right. Five seconds to the leader. How many laps can we do in this time, do you think? Four? Five? No, I, d I don't know. I, d I never like to think like that, that I make other people nervous, you know, I just... I think that's just in general sometimes when people have got someone that's quicker than them, closing up to them. Oh yeah, he's a uh, revagler. Well, he's a... Uh, oh. Um... Well, touring car champion, if I remember. But, Alessandro, if you're aware of the one season he had in the British Touring Car Championship in 1996, then you'd probably think as well he's probably not the nicest human being. That was good. Not brilliant, I still don't think. Oh. All I'm hearing half the time is the sound of my tyres just being utterly tortured when I'm breaking for that corner. First gear is much better for that corner. Oh, so Roberto Verovaglia, he's uh, I guess you could consider him like a maverick type, where he's just a bit outlandish. Well, in this country, he got involved in many accidents. When he'd have discussions with drivers regarding his standards and things he was doing on track. He basically tell them that he could do whatever he wants, almost, almost with no shame. So I'm not doubting his ability. He's certainly one of the best touring car drivers of all time, but not a nice person. <laughs> I believe um, there's a quote from when he was discussing with the driver, I can't remember exactly who, who it was. But, you can clearly see he just pushed him off. And he said to this guy, like, uh, I go, and I go where I want, okay? And then just walks off. <laughs> like, how rude. I think the clip of it is on YouTube. If 
if you go and find it, I'll, I'll link it to you later. Oh. Getting a ton on this guy. I'm getting over a second on this lap. Oh, break very, very late. Too late. Lost time to the guy ahead. Ah! Come on. Keep misjudging my breaking for turn one. Ah, oh, this is getting really annoying. Three laps to go. I've lost time on the guy. That's really annoying. Oh yeah, that's definitely true. Just ask, just ask my mate Alessandro here, and his mate Gianmarco Fiducci. They're, 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 they're typical Italian racers they are. <laughs> I mean, it's probably different now anyway, especially with how drivers are, race drivers are brought up. But I th maybe back then, when tracks were a lot more, were a lot, were a lot different. Maybe not as safe, and and the ones that took risks were the ones that showed they had balls. I mean, you know, it's a different time. You think uh, you think uh, 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 Ally is very tame? I don't know. Oh my god. If I do that again, if I mess that corner up, someone just hit me. That's really starting to bug me. I just can't do that corner properly. I'll probably like it, make a little montage afterwards. All the times I've been messing that corner up. Oh. It's like this car's on roller skates. With how much it's just sliding, how nice it is to drive. Oh, the leader's gone off. Oh dear. See him potentially defending down to here. Yeah, he is. I don't blame him. Or oh, big lock up. I think we both locked up. He's got sideways. Come on, come on, come on. We're dead even across the line. Oh. I think he's messed up. He's messed up. He's gone off. He tried to crowd me. An absolute tup. Oh, he's going to have to let me go. Yeah. Ah. Oh.
I think he's went to the back of me. I think. Ah, uh, just a shame you went off. I did not expect to go from very far back to the lead, if I'm honest. If I was him, I would... Oh. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, if <laughs> if I was my dad in his position, I would do what he would do, which is just go across the last corner. 